Hi there, I have one other junk journal to share with you today. This one is Sleeping Beauty. It is another one in my Disney themed junk journals because I do love Disneyland. Sleeping Beauty I know has the option of pink or blue and on this cover, neither. But for my daughter, I had to do pink. She wondered when she was a little girl, why, oh why, oh why, we did not name her Aurora instead of Guinevere. I personally think Guinevere is a pretty good name, but you know, whatever. <laughs> So this one is not all princess theme, but I did select a lot of princess stuff to go in here. So I tried to do a lot of pink, a lot of purple, the teals. Um, if there was a princess to be seen, I tried to include her in so she was hanging with her little posse the whole time. Um, you'll find some things like this in here too. These are just little book pages that I sewed some paper on the back of so that it would turn into a journal page. So there's Jasmine journal page and then there are pieces of this is the the um, Sleeping Beauty's Castle if you're wondering what I'm listening to it's a little bit of the movie is playing but there is ephemera in here that is more traditional junk journal ephemera in addition to things like this this is a comic book that a friend gave to me that's got Pluto in it as well as like um, this kind of thing like I've got a lot of uh, DVD covers that my cousin donated to me. She was going to throw them away and recycle them. And I was like, I'll take them as well as like map stuff. And then like, here's a, what I would consider a piece of traditional junk journal ephemera. And then we've got Ariel with a little artsy. So all throughout here is all kinds of just different stuff to stuff it in. As with all junk journals, you can take out everything that's included in here and fill it up with your own stuff or you can use it as is. I love that dress that Cinderella's wearing. This is a little flipper here. And then, who is that? Snow White, believe it or not. A Hercules DVD cover, or that's actually a Blu-ray cover. Ooh, fancy schmancy. And then all of my books, my Disney books, always have a map at some point in them. Just because I like the map. I think that, that Disneyland has done a beautiful job of designing those maps as art pieces as much as they are just functional and useful. <laughs> I love these like wads of texture. They just look cool, I think. So perfect for a junk journal. I know I'm flipping through this one a little bit on the fast side. It's just because I do have other junk journals as well and I just kind of wanted to give a sneak peek of what this guy looked like because I just think it's pretty. This is certainly not princess. Well, I guess it is. There's Princess Leia and Queen Amidala. What am I thinking? My daughter liked those as much as any other princesses when she was little. Each of these has a little something tucked inside. And lots and lots of map covers. Don't know if I mentioned it before, but I have, whenever my friends go to Disneyland, I always have them <laughs> pay me back some maps. And I've even told students before, I'll pay you for maps that you bring back. <laughs> Anyway, we're coming to the end of this one. I just love this cover. It's so pretty. The fast passes have actually paper glued on the back of them so that they are easy to um, write on the back. And then there's a little bit more legend. So this is the Aurora Junk Journal. I wanted to say thank you for coming by and taking a peek at her. She's beauty and she's available on my Etsy shop until she sells out. Have a great day. Thank you.